Okay, so section D, we're looking at indices here. This is a, another absolutely key core topic that you understand. Some of these are, are questions are straightforward, some of them are a little bit more tricky. So I'm going to try and do all five in the same video, so kind of pay attention. Particularly uh, tricky are the fractional ones, particularly, well, you've got fractions and negatives. And the next question, question four, is possibly the hardest one, which has got the power is uh, a negative and a fraction. So let's go through. So question number one. Well, anything to the power of zero, quite straightforward, is one. That's just like a definition. So anything to the power of zero is one. So that's kind of important key th key one to uh, know. Let's come over here for question number two. Twenty-seven to the two thirds. Well, really important point here is the denominator of the fraction is the root. Uh, so if we had a to the 1 over m, that's the nth root of a. So the denominator is the root. And um, if we had a double, if we had a fraction, so n over m, it's there's a couple of ways you can think about it. You can find the mth root of a and all of that to the power of n. Or you can think of it as the mth root the denominator and you can find the power first. So you can either find the power of a first and then find the mth root or find the mth root and then find the power afterwards. It doesn't matter which order you do it in. Sometimes it's easy to do it in one way and sometimes it's easy to do it in another. In this question I think it's easier to do the root first, the denominator, the third root, the cube root before you square it. Otherwise the numbers get big. 27 squared gets too big and without a calculator it 27 squared is not too bad, but then when you're trying to find the third root of, of that answer, it becomes a bit trickier. So I tend to, if you can, try and find the root first. So that means that what I'm going to do is find the cube root of 27, which is 3, and then bring, not forget the power squared, so the overall answer is 9. Okay? So I found the root first, which is 3 times 3 times 3 is 27, so the cube root is that of 27 is 3, and then the power, the numerator of the fraction is the power squared is 9. So number 3. Be careful here because we're talking about fraction here, but the power is not a fraction. So, well, there's one more little bit of uh, uh, knowledge you need to know, or you should know, is that, let's just put a little dividing line down here for the moment, that anything to the negative power is the same as finding the reciprocal of the positive power. So I find the a to the n and then I find the reciprocal of that. So in this case we've got two thirds to the minus two. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to find um, well first of all it's I'm going to find the reciprocal. Actually, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do the reciprocal squared. Okay? So that's, oh no, that's not. Let's start again. So what I need to do is I find the normal power, but then I find the reciprocal of the answer. So the normal power would be. Uh, 4 over 9, because I'd square that and square that, and then I've got to find a reciprocal, so it's 9 over 4. Okay, so sorry about that. So use that there and see what I've done here. So I found that squared and that squared, I found the normal power, and then I found the reciprocal, which means that I've, uh, in terms of fractions, I've flipped upside down. Question number 4. Well, we've got 8 to the minus 2 thirds. My suggestion is to find. 8 to the normal 2 thirds first and then find a reciprocal afterwards. So let's do this one. So what do we do? This one's like question 2. We find the root of the denominator, the root, uh, so the cube root, so it's the denominator, there's a root and then the power of the top. So that's the cube root of 8 which is 2 squared is 4. So 8 to the normal 2 thirds will be 4. So to find this one, this kind of helps with uh, to improve the explanation of question 3, I just find a reciprocal of that answer, which is 1 quarter. 
And then the last one, we've got 0.04 to the half. So, well, what do we have here? Interesting. Well, that means the square root, doesn't it, of 0.04. So what number times by itself gives me 0.04? Well, plus or minus 0.02. Ah, for the mistakes, this little video, plus or minus 0.2, because when I times it by itself, I get 0.04. Okay, I hope you managed to see through the, the some couple of errors I made there or my explanations, but the answers you should find are, are correct. Um, go back over it if you need, or come and see me or Miss uh, Miss Ars or Mr. Tadlani or Mr. Newton if you need some help. Okay.